Hello, hello, hello! Magandang umaga muli sa ating lahat. Mapagpalang Thursday morning po sa ating lahat. Pagpalain po kayo mga patuloy na nanonood at nagsusubaybay sa ating morning devotion at hindi lang yan, sa ating evening devotion rin. At araw-araw na ipinamumuhay ang kanyang natututunan sa devotion na ito. Alam niyo ba mga kapatid na mayroon pong eternal value at eternal reward ang mga ginagawa natin para sa Panginoon. Let us pray. Nagkagpalang Diyos, pinupuri at pinapasalamatan ka namin. Ikaw lang ang Diyos magpakailanman. Linisan mo po ang isipan at puso namin at walang makakahadlang sa biyaya mo ngayon. Salamat po sa pag protect at pag provide mo ng aming mga pangangailangan. Maghari ka po ngayong umaga at ang salita mo ngayon, O Lord, ay siyang magbago sa amin araw-araw. Holy Spirit, work powerfully sa lahat ng nakikinig at nanonood ngayon. In the most powerful mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Alam niyo ba, noong September 8, 2022, according to CBS News, na an international team of scientists inannounce nila na they have discovered two new super-Earth planets just 100 light years away, kung ano nat sa kilometers or approximately 946 trillion away. So, both of them, yung both na planet na yon are significantly larger than our planet, Earth. So, one of them may even be suitable for life. So, nung binabasa ko to, naisip ko, ang ginawa lang naman ni Lord na suitable for life, itong Earth na sa atin. So, uh, it was formless in the beginning kung basahin natin sa Genesis And then he give light on it, everything on it on earth, and he put ma Adam and Eve. So inaisip ko to. So saan ba ang ating kung man sa sabihin nila na doon? Well, I don't know. So pero sa atin saan ba ang ating lugar o kaya where is our country is it on earth or on the other planet okay let's read John 18:36. Jesus said my kingdom is not in this world if it is where my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews But now, my kingdom is from another place. So this is the answer of Jesus Christ when he was arrested and handed before Pilate. So Jesus made it very clear to Pilate that he was actually a king. But his kingdom was not a political kingdom. As not what is this earthly kingdom has that would threaten any earthly rule. So, sinabi niya kay Pilate, Oh, I am a king. Pero but my kingdom is not on this earth. So, so his kingdom is heavenly and reign forever. That's the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. After this, after yung uh, he was handed to Pilate and everything. So, after He was nailed on the cross and died. But don't stop there. After three days, he rose from the dead. So brothers and sisters, our place is not on earth. Sabi nga nila, oh, we are steward, pilgrims on this world. Because our forever country is where our God is. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, my kingdom is not on earth. But, 
in the other place. Ito yung sinasabi ni Lord na ay Jesus Christ na kingdom niya. It's a heavenly kingdom that, will re that is reigning forever. So this earth is not our is not our permanent place. So this earth is our training ground. Kumbaga ito yung training ground natin. Ito yung battleground natin. Kung saan tayo na mold ng glory to glory. Nababago ng Diyos araw-araw. Dahil sa mga circumstances ng ating buhay. Dahil sa mga um, yun yung mga circumstances na, na, na encounter natin. Na nagpapabago sa atin araw-araw. Na nagmomol sa atin from glory to glory. Na na we are na we are being prepared or preparing us for life with Jesus Christ. Kailangan ready tayong humarap kay tumira sa kingdom ni Jesus Christ kung saan yung sinabi niyang another place. So ko, talagang maghanda tayo. Kaya this is the be, the time nandito tayo sa earth to prepare ourselves to meet the Lord and to be with the Lord forever where his kingdom is. So, <clears throat> that was the glorious day that we are spending our forever life with Jesus Christ. So, how, how could we have that eternal life? How could we live in that eternal kingdom? So, sabi naman, ah, eternal life. So, receiving our Lord Jesus Christ. So, believe in our Lord Jesus Christ and accept Him as our Lord and Savior and do His will in our or in your life. Or do His will in our lives. We will do His will in our lives. So, ako noon, no, I, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and become a king on, in my life. So, I subject my life to Him na hindi na po ako yung nasusunod, kundi ang ating Panginoong Diyos. So, I did not stop there on accepting the Lord our Jesus Christ. But I have, I continue in faith. That's the training ground that we will, um, training that we have, we have to continue in our faith until, until He comes. So, until now, the Lord, it doesn't mean na uh, we are sharing the Word of God. We are already perfectly molded no not yet um we are we are still i am uh, i am myself is still changing by our lord jesus christ day by day one at all. so hindi po ako exempted sa mga pagsubok mga test ng life so i G, um, lahat po tayo is not exempted Kasi yung mga bagay na yun ang nagpapa-strengthen sa atin, nagpapa-mold sa atin, at nagpapa-papalakas sa atin. Ang pinagkaiba ng hindi na nanalig sa Diyos at nananalig sa Diyos. Ang nananalig sa Diyos ay mayroon, mayroon po tayong, tumu, mayroon po ang Diyos sa atin na tumutulong in, sa atin na maging matatag na magpatuloy at alam natin na tayo ay may forever sa kanya ang mga hindi na nanalig sa Diyos naman at hindi nila alam kung saan sila kukuha ng kanilang lakas kaya meron po yung mga iba dyan na, na oh, overwhelmed ng problems ay ang ginagawa na lang ay magmukmuk o kaya Minsan, sadly to say, nagpapakamatay po sila. So, tayo po na nanalig sa Diyos na alam natin na may Diyos tayong tumutulong sa atin. Kailangan din natin na ipahayag ang kabutihan ng Diyos na ginagawa niya sa ating buhay. At maranasan din ng mga iba ang naranasan natin sa Panginoon. So, let us then continue to do God's will in our lives till the end. And let's see each other in another place where our Lord Jesus Christ kingdom is. Manalangin po tayo. Magnificent Lord, 
the heavens declare your glory. The skies proclaim the work of your hands. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty. Thank you for your mercy and grace, for giving us an everlasting life, that we may reign with you forever. Teach us your way, O Lord, and we will walk in your truth. Give us an undivided heart, that we may fear your name. Yes, God. Give us the strength to keep our faith burning till you come and meet you face to face. We will praise you, O God, with all our heart. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen and amen. <laughs>